Hello, my name is Yusef. Uh, today, I'm introducing one of the hottest features that Databricks has recently introduced during the Data and AI Summit. This feature is the Databricks Assistant. It works as an AI-based companion per programmer to make you more efficient as you create notebooks quer and queries. It can help you rapidly answer questions by generating, optimizing, completing, fixing your code as well. And how do I enable Databricks Assistant? We just need to go to the Account Console, click on Settings, Feature Enablement, and then Enable Third Party Services for AI Assistive Features. Why should I do this? Because Databricks Assistant may use third party services to provide response, including Azure OpenAI and the OpenAI API. The services are subject to their respective data management policies. And data sent to these services is automatically purged within 30 days and is not used for any model training. And something very, very important, Database Assistant does not automatically execute code on your behalf and make sure uh, to review the AI generated code prior to executing it. So let's go back to the Databricks Assistant. So just need to go to your notebook and click on assistant. And the first thing I will do, I will run this query and then ask the assistant, can you explain this query? And you see over here, uh, I have a bunch of uh, names of teams. So yes, as you guess it, I'm a huge Premier League fan. And the result is this query will return a list of football teams that won against Chelsea uh, in a away game in 2009. And yes, that's correct. I will run the second query and you see I have an, an error. So I just need to click on fix my code and the uh, assistant will generate the right uh, query for me. I can test. And you see, I have the correct uh, results. It's, it's showing all the uh, year where uh, Chelsea scored more than a hundred goals. I can also, for example, generate code like uh, in here, generate a pie chart in mat, matplotlib of the percent win, lose, and draw for Chelsea in 2009. And once it's done, I can send my code to my notebook and run my, uh, my code to have the expected result. So you see the percent win is 71%, throw 13%, and the loss is 15%. Of course, I can also use the assistant to think, uh, to ask questions for documentation. How can I declare a volume in Unity catalog? I can also ask some questions about how uh, to uh, optimize, uh, how to optimize the code. And something very, very important is uh, the Databricks Assistant sends code and metadata to the mods on each API request. So this helps return more relevant results for your data. So it can be like favorite tables, previous questions, tab table and column names and descriptions and code queries in the current cell. Of course, uh, it only reads the table and the column name, not the data. Uh, not the data inside the table. And the Databricks assistant requests may include the context like the contents of the current cell or the query window. And that's how I, could, I was able to still get the context as I was asking questions to uh, the assistant. And of course, you can also think about questions like how to uh, optimize or how to convert, for example, parquet to delta and more and more questions. Thank you for uh, watching this video.